Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. In today's video, we are going to start a new section uh, which is very important uh, in the engineering domain and is common to almost all the engineering branches. Uh, I'm talking about engineering mathematics. Okay, this uh, subject is uh, almost uh, common to all the engineering branches, and uh, and there are a lot of uh, common subjects uh, which is uh, there in engineering mathematics, which uh, belong to almost all the engineering branches, especially uh, electrical, electronics, uh, instrumentation. Uh, communication, telecommunication, those branches. And it is also uh, present in other engineering branches such as mechanical, civil, uh, computer science and other things. But uh, we are going to discuss uh, those uh, topics and uh, it will be very helpful for uh, all the engineering branches students. Okay, so we are going to start this section with a uh, simple chapter, it is not simple but it is a beginner level chapter which is linear algebra. Okay? And the first uh, topic which we are going to handle from linear algebra is the concept of matrix and determinants. Okay? So, we will be posting a lot of uh, concept related videos which will be targeting specific concepts about matrix and determinants in each video. Okay? So, let us start. So, the first question that uh, must come to our mind while studying uh, matrix and determinants is what is a matrix? Okay? So, a matrix is actually a collection of numbers, collection or a set of numbers and what type of numbers? The numbers can be real or it can be imaginary, there is no re restriction on that, it can be real and complex, okay, imaginary or complex numbers having both real and imaginary parts. Okay? So, it is a collection of a particular set of numbers okay, which can be both real and uh, imaginary, there is no restriction on that and those numbers are arranged in a rectangular structure okay rectangular structure which is called as array okay is called as array a rectangular array okay so there are two things that specify a matrix okay that is the rectangular array the numbers a collection or set of numbers that are arranged in the rectangular structure called as rectangular array and those two characteristics those two things which specify a matrix are the number of rows in the rectangular array and the number of columns okay these two things specify a matrix or the rectangular array consisting of a set of numbers okay okay <clears throat> in general let us define a matrix let us say A. It is generally written 
in this form okay okay it is written in this form here a subscript i j and m cross n and there is the square bracket this is the specification of the matrix a here a i j is the number or the element okay or the entity which is present at the intersection of at the intersection of the ith row and jth column okay the element which is present at the intersection of the ith row and the jth column it is that element a subscript ij m is the total number of rows that are present in the matrix a and n is the total number of columns okay aij is the specific element or the number which is present at the intersection of the ith row and the jth column m is the total number of rows n is the total number of columns that are present in the matrix okay so now let us look at the various examples of matrix okay the simplest matrix it consists of one row and one column let's say this it is 1 cross 1 it has only one row this and one column and at the intersection the element which is present is 1 let us define a matrix let's say one row and two columns let's say 1 and 2 the elements are 1 and 2 here there is only one row this but there are two columns okay this is one row and two columns uh, similarly we can take two row and one column okay let's say this here there are two rows but one column okay two rows but one column similarly we can take a two cross two matrix let's say one two three four here there are two rows and two columns see two rows and two columns now you can see at these intersection points these elements are present okay similarly we can uh, draw a three cross three matrix let's say one two three four five six seven eight nine okay this is a three cross three matrix it consists of three rows see three rows and three columns and at the intersection points of these rows and columns the elements are present okay similarly we can design any matrix consisting of any number of rows and columns as per our choice okay in general a matrix okay the general expression of a matrix is given by let's say a is equal to a i j m cross n the matrix which we define the general expression of the matrix is in this form okay a 1 1 a 
one two a one three means a subscript one one a subscript one two a subscript one three dot 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 a one j a one n here these elements are present in the first row okay are, are present in the first row actually they are present in the intersection of the first row and the respective number of columns here a11 is present at the intersection of the first row and the first column here the first number specifies the row in which it is present and the second specifies the column in which it is present similarly a subscript 12 it is present at the intersection of the first row okay the first row and the second column similarly here a subscript 13 is the element which is present at the intersection of the first row and the third column similarly we'll go to the second row will be a subscript 21 a subscript 22 a subscript 23 dot 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 a subscript 2j which is the general representation for the j row and as there are total number of n columns so the last column will be a to n okay similarly we can go to the generalized expression for the ith row which will be a1 ai2 ai3 aij okay a i n okay and as there are total of m number of rows the last row will be a m 1 a m 2 a m 3 a m j a m n okay so this is the arrangement of the m cross n matrix and the elements that are present in it so as you can see here this element a11 it is present at the intersection of the first row okay if we draw a line here it will be like this and this first column the intersection of the first row and the first column similarly a subscript 1 to this element is present at the intersection of the first row and the second column similarly if we take a23 okay this element if we have to locate this element then it will be present at the intersection of the second row okay this is the second row and this is the third column 1 2 3 this is the third column the intersection of the second row and the third column similarly uh, if uh, i say that locate the element which is present at the intersection of the mth row and the nth column see mth row means the last row okay this is the last row and this is the last last column so amn is the element which is located at the intersection of the last row that is the mth row and the last column which is the nth column okay so this is how a matrix is generally represented this is the general representation and i also discussed about uh, how we can design any matrix of any uh, dimension means the number of rows and columns as per our choice okay